AI is everywhere. Siri makes it easy to get a lot more done on it's your It's in your computer. It's in your phone. It can code, write Excel formulas, and match your right hailing requests. And it will soon have a say on how you invest and what you invest in. In 2023, the global stock market was estimated to be worth up to 109 trillion US dollars. In a bid to draw and retain customers, banks in Singapore and exchange apps are leaning on AI to give them the edge. How does AI screen and analyze stocks? Where does it obtain its datasets from? This is Oscar. Oscar was built by OCBC Securities to predict stock price movements and offer personalized stock recommendations. Oscar it is built on an AI predictive model. So it studies and 4,000 stocks and based on more than a decade of information. So it built into the self-learning model how to use the past pattern to predict the price trend. The second capability is take into the personalization of the customer trading profile, demographic information, and their past history. Every week, Oscar curates 15 personalized trading ideas for individual investors. But it isn't the only AI tool on the market. DBS Vickers uses AI to screen stocks by exchange, sector, and technical conditions. You might have heard of Moomoo, which has a customizable AI monitor built into its app. And Weibo's Smart Advisor, which uses AI to auto-invest based on a user's risk tolerance. Companies also claim that since AI algorithms only make data-driven decisions, human emotions do not come into play. Another advantage, trading in global markets as AI works 24-7 and across time zones. But still, experts say there are privacy risks and AI bias issues that need to be addressed. Will it be legal? Because first of all, it gets things wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, I don't want my pension fund invested in something that's getting something wrong yep. in terms of the technology that's being used to make investment decisions. Yep. It also makes things up. We don't think there's a bias factor, but uh, put it this way, Good AI needs good data. Our data it is accurate and uh, premium data uh, behind the paywall and provided by the reputable market data provider Refinitiv. It is not publicly available public sources data. When we build a model, the data it is anonymized. We don't say oh, this is customer A, customer B. It is anonymized, aggregated, then we tested the model. When we roll out the model, it is cater to individual preferences. Customer A watch this and customer B AI watch this is different. One in five young investors in their 20s, they solely rely on social media channel and the chat group. The online information, it may not be accurate or may not be updated and a lot of uh, bias as well. Globally, 18 to 34 year olds make up 45% of retail investors as more young people see investments as a means to grow wealth and secure their financial future. And as AI improves at an exponential rate, how will the stock market evolve? One, it is the market volatility increase over the year. Investors tend to more acti actively manage their portfolio and manage the risk. Second trend we observe, it is the rise of the younger generation of the investor. Typically, Below 35 years old investors, they tend to conduct their trades digitally. For example, they have a strong demand on the uh, digital trading assistance. Today, it is just picking the stock, right? On the near future, it will help you to construct the portfolio, right? We also will consider AI to use AI to do the bad testing. In future, the Bad testing, the AI bad testing will be on the fly. That is what we envisage. And today, we already have the ETF and based on the AI selection models. So we expect more and more ETF will leverage the AI engine to, to be constructed in the near future.